several local families and activists joined together recently at the Memorial Building for an immigrant justice vigil. Organized by the group La Voz de las Comunidad, community leaders shared testimonies to inspire people to join the national demand for immigration relief and to protest against immigration raids. La Voz de las Comunidad was instrumental in bringing transitional bilingual education to Fuller Middle School. It is a volunteer group organized to further immigrant rights and education. When you think about Massachusetts, it's always been a state that has welcomed people from across the world, obviously since its founding. And I think the same thing is happening now. Uh, people are just coming from different countries, often from Latin America. And so what, what really is today is a message that everyone is welcome, all families, and we need to push back against efforts by our federal government that are ripping families apart by their deportation policies. We've been organizing with immigrant parents here in Framingham for the past year. We worked on the bilingual education campaign at Fuller Middle School. And with the rise of anti-immigrant sentiment, um, the stalling of deferred action, which is immigration relief for parents of U.S. citizen children and children who have been here in the country for a very long time. We just felt like we needed to unite and echo all the actions that are happening across the country. It's very important because if we reunite them, other people will realize it and we unite them all to a new cause. It's important because when we get together like this, um, people will see this. People, it'll have visibility and more people can join this great cause. Thank you all for coming out here. Gracias. Gracias todos. So, I am here to represent the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and I am here with my fellow legislators. I think it's notable here that every one of the elected officials to the Massachusetts legislature is here supporting immigrants. We as educators have the role to educate students, but we also recognize that in recent years, part of that job has also become to give the support to the families of our immigrant students. Um, the families have rights to know what their children, what the expectations are at school for their children, what role they can play. Um, so while the children have rights to education, the families have rights as well. And so we want to make sure that as educators, we're not judging, we're not asking questions, we're here to educate and support the kids and the families. Uh, the world is much, much more diverse, it's much, much more more open and uh, every step along the way communities that celebrate and strengthen themselves in terms of their ability to manage diverse cultures and diverse peoples uh, are the communities that thrive so I think Framingham um, embraces that diversity and really wants to think of itself as a global community that can compete with the best of them as, as a result of that strength.